What's up, dude and dudess? This is Froggy 2 k and I've been in interrupted three times. God damn it, I can't even speak! I've been interrupted three times during this commentary. Anyway, this is about the importance of the UAV. So the UAV is really important kill streak in any Call of Duty, and you just gotta know if your team's putting out UAVs, you're most likely going to win the match against everyone there, especially in the older Call of Duties, because you couldn't actually shoot down the UAV, so it was up there, and it was up there for good. So once you once you got that UAV, that's it. They don't shoot it down. It doesn't go anywhere. All they've got to do is, you know, hope that you don't know how to use the UAV. Which, for in my case, is I know how to use the UAV. Now, a lot of the time, some, well, sometimes you'll see me run away from the action. Even though this is my rush class, this is my rushing rush, 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 bum rush class. You'll see me walk away from the action sometimes. This is because I like to be around friends sometimes. I like to be around friends, regroup myself, get my head back in the game, and then attack again. That's what I like to do. You'll see that in my Battlefield gameplay as well. I just sort of stop, sit down or lie down for a few seconds, and then go again. Because I like to regroup myself. Because sometimes it just gets to my head where I rush, and I like kill like four or five people, and I'll be like, yeah! Yeah, and it, that mindset actually gets me killed about 80% of the time. So generally I've learned to calm down, sit back, regroup, and then go in again. And that's what everyone should think about doing. It, you know, you don't rush, rush, rush all the time because people tell you it's the right thing to do. You know, it's immoral to sit there in a corner all game. You know, you're not sitting there in a corner of the game. I mean, you see here, I rush in, I pull back. You know, I, I'm sitting in here for a little bit, just regrouping myself, getting my head back in the game, seeing where people are, and then I go again. You know, I'm, I'm constantly getting UAVs this game. This is a very good setup to go UAV, counter UAV, and that's it. Don't. Don't turn on anything else. Just UAV, counter UAV. Just run that all day long. Just rock it. You know, just rock out with the cock out all day long. This is the way to do it. This is the way to go. This is how to be a beast. Call in that UAV. Yeah, look at me with my AK-47. And rocking those... I don't know. Are they, are they, I think they're P9s. MP9s. Something like that. I don't know. And I just get beasted on there because again it got to my head. I started rushing in. I didn't. I didn't check first. You should always check first before you move on a target. That's why if a target's got their back turned, look around quickly first. You just want to take a quick peek. And what the hell happened there? I don't know. I shot the crap out of him and he just wouldn't die. Anyway. You should always check around first, because your target may be looking away from you, but there might be someone else nearby that's looking at you. Now, right there, they all had their eyes on my friend up there, so I decided to throw a Betty, you know, and as the Betty landed, I was like, the Betty's going to get the kill, I don't have to worry about that kill, and I just moved on, because they, they were all focused on my friend, they weren't focused on me, so I was able to get out of there alive. And this wasn't luck. That wasn't luck, me just running straight out there. I actually thought about that situation before I moved into it. Which is quite hard to believe, but it is. It's what happened. Right there. Just got moved on from behind. Right here? I didn't even know he existed. It was like, what? Where did you come from? <laughs> I was very tempted to watch the kill cam, except for the fact that it didn't give me one. So uh, I, did, I did go look in afterwards. What had happened was I had moved around the corner, and just as I had gone around the corner, he had actually gone into the pipe. So basically our screens, my screen, never actually came in contact with his one, but his screen came in contact with me for a split second. So he, I, he like caught me out the corner of his eye, which is why he moved around. And he moved around in a pretty nice manner. I like the way he moved around there. He, you know, he was hip firing. He, he pre-fired me. You know, good play on your part. Right here, I saw. You know, he's got his back turned and dead man's hand. You son of a bitch! I hate that. That is just the worst. I mean, you know, they like. Right. What we've done is we've taken out last stand. Bull shit. You just changed the name of Last Stand. You called it Final Stand and Dead Man's Hand. Yes. Oh, look at that. You can rhyme. Final Stand, Dead Man's Hand. Well done. You can rhyme. Now give me that UAV. Yeah. 
Give me that UAV. And there's Dead Man's Hand again. Last stand, Dead Man's Hand. Screw that. Give me the UAV. Well, the ass clapper, either one works. <laughs> so, anyway, you see me here messing around with the trophy system. I was almost. Oh, oh. Stole me of a triple kill. Well, because. Of, I don't know what happened there. I swear I could have killed all of those, but, you know, these things happen. Anyway. Where was I? Oh yeah, the trophy system. Right, the trophy system is a brilliant little thing, especially for something like this. Now, I'm waiting for them to come around the corner. I'm thinking, you know, they're going to come around the corner, they're going to be rocking out their grenades, you know, they're going to be throwing their stuns, their flashes, so I was like, trophy system, sit here, wait a bit, just wait a bit, just wait a bit, okay, they're not moving forward, so I'm going to make them move forward, and I move forward myself. Corner. Why are you sitting in a corner? Oh yeah. Right, okay, so... Basically, I said that now, and I've just thought about it for a second. Now, he wasn't actually... He was playing smart there. He was playing smart. He knew my team was down there, and he knew he was going unnoticed, or he thought he was going unnoticed. He might have not realized that the UAV was out there, or he might have just been baiting me in. Anyway, he actually played a good play there. He knew he had the he had the superior weapon to me, because, you know, he has, he has a nice LMG. He can sit there all day and spray for days, you know, he can just sit there and do that all day long, which means he had a good play on his part. He also had the high damage weapon, I don't know if he knew that, but he actually did have the high damage weapon, especially me with only my akimbo, pis akimbo machine pistols, you know, as these things are quite powerful, but only in certain situations right here. Oh, that should have been my kill. And he didn't even let me get the dog tags. That was something that really annoys me. You know, if, if you kill someone and you're nearby a friend, let them get the dog tag. You know, I do it all the time. I just leave dog tags hanging around all day long. Not just to bait people in, but because, you know, your teammates can pick it up and it's free points for them, you know? Free points! I would go for free points any day, so, you know, I'd give everyone else free points. Right here, there's where the patience comes in. And I get my counter UAV, oh yeah, and a UAV. Got my UAV, my counter UAV. I'm doing this. I'm doing it right, yeah. I'm doing this. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go far, especially with my counter UAV. And the counter UAV is really important to kill streak, especially since I'm not using a silenced primary weapon. You'd be surprised how many people funnel into you when you have an unsilenced primary weapon. So rock that counter UAV. Rock the UAV. Be a beast all day long. It's been your boy, Froggy2K9. I don't know why I said that. I'm not Wings of Redemption anyway. This has been Froggy2K9. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how shit I am. Happy days.